Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial from The Ordinary Gift Limited. In this video, I'm going to show you how to showcase your product code with a sales rep in the background. If you find this video interesting at the end of this tutorial, please click the like button and don't forget to leave your comment below. Also subscribe to our channel for more updates on our video tutorials. Let's get started. First of all, we'll go to Rectangle tool. We draw a rectangle with a few color of our choice. We're using a light gray color, few color for our rectangle. This will be your background. You go to Layers and lock this first layer go back to properties. Now let's draw some shapes we can use as a background. Let's start with a rectangle. Sorry, we need to unlock this first layer first so that we could be able to draw there. So let's draw a rectangle. So let's use our ellipse tool as well to draw an ellipse. I prefer to change these colors to pure white. So let's change it to white color. We go to properties and go to fill color and select white. You go to strokes and cancel the stroke. So the same thing will be done to this rectangle as well. Choose white color. Remove the we cancel the stroke. So let's draw another shape like polygon to small shape. Let's draw another shape. A statue. Use our statue to draw a star. All these shapes are going to serve as a background. We use the act tool as well. In this action, we're going to add stroke to it. Let's give it a stroke of two and a white stroke of two points. Let's use the spiral tool as well. So I think these shapes will be enough for now to serve as a background. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So let's select all the shapes and group them together. Go to quick actions and group them together. Now that we've group them together, we can now copy and paste them to form our background. We copy, we paste it multiple times. So it will create kind of a beautiful background for our work. Now that we've created a nice background, we have to use our rectangle tool again 
to draw a rectangle on top of this. Let's change the fuel color of this rectangle to white. To make it look nice. You see everything is covered, but we have to go to opacity now and reduce the opacity so that we could be able to see the the, the, the background inside. We, we you can make your own opacity like I, I like using uh, 50 50 percent opacity. You see how nice it is now. So we can now lock this layer. So let's use a, um, perhaps any of the product code you have. Let's use in this case we're going to use a four character four number number four. So we use our type two. I think we don't need to lock this background. I think we don't need to lock that. Alright, that's fine. That's okay. So let's use our type two. So um, it's already at hundred pt. We decided to increase it to hundred so that it should be big enough for what we want to do for the for us to be able to apply our three D effect. So we could type number four here. Right, type in number four. You could change this to character of yes. Any character you want, but it's always good to use kind of a bold character so that when you apply your 3D effects, it's going to come out good, nice and very good. So we're going to use condensed extra bold. So this nice, this is nice. We could increase it kind of. Now we've created, a, a, we've um, typed our number four and we've chosen the best font color for it. Let's go to effect, choose 3D, go to 3D, go to extrude and bevel. This option will open up, so we need to drag this position. I, I want it to face this way. You could drag it to anywhere you want it to face, depending on what you want. So I want mine to face this way. Yeah? Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot something. So first of all, let's go and put our few color to this number and the stroke color. So let's cancel this, okay? So let's change our fill color. Um, I want to use white as my fill color. And I actually like using a global white. So this white, right? So um, let me use my stroke color. I want my stroke color to be red. So when you're using your stroke color, make sure it's global, that this part global is checked, okay? So let's press OK now. Let's click OK. And increase the, the stroke point to. I, I usually like using six, so it's nice now, it's looking good now. So now that we've gotten all the fill color and the stroke color in place, let's now go to effect and now apply our 3D. So you see, it's shaping this, it's facing this way, so you could drag your position to. Like for me, I want my position to face this way, as I am positioning it this way. But feel free to put it any position you want to. And you go to your extrude depth. You know, if you if you want like this depth to be um, something smaller, you can reduce it to 30. For me, um, you say if you reduce it to 30, um, it's smaller here. So for me, I like using um. I like you making it um, 50 so that it to be, you know, it will come out nicely. So whenever you make a mistake of pressing, and whenever you're in effect, uh, in effect tool, and you mistakenly press OK, and the 
mean it disappears what you have to do is you go back to you click on that object you've applied that 3d effect on you go to appearance and you click on that same 3d it will come up okay so that you edit whatever you want to edit so here we need to change our bevel depth extra depth rather to 5 that's to 50 okay and your bevel you could play around this to know which one you like at the, uh, at the moment it's starting is standing at none so you could change it to um tall round to see how it's going to look like you know this is how it's going to come come out like if you want it this way you could leave it this way and um, I, I i like it this way we could go for this and also um you, in the surface you leave it you make it a plastic shading um, you could change it to wireframe if you want. Wireframe you know, is not nice. It's not what I want to do. You could change to no shading. But I like using a plastic uh, shading so that to have that plastic nice effect. You know, shiny effect. And you go to your blend steps. Um, I like increasing it to 100. You press enter. Or you press OK. So now that we've applied our 3d effect so let's duplicate it so this nice so we could control c and control v we could place this like multiple times depending on the code if the code is like three four um four 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 you could just place it four times depending on whichever character code your product represents. For instance, here, we're going to use 3444 is our product code. So it's 44. So to make it look nice, kind of, you shift it and increase the, the size of this. Okay. You could make it a kind of a, you know, now the first one will be small. Now let's shift it a bit. So there will be space here in the middle because that's where we're going to put our product uh, representative, our sales right there. We also do another control V because is the product code number is a uh, triple four. So you put it this way. Let's shift this. Okay. Yeah, let's increase this, you know, and you just make it, make it look uh, more beautiful than just making all of them equal, just like that. Okay. So this nice. Um, no, this is, um, yeah, it's nice. Here. So now that we've placed our product code, we will now go ahead and import our sales rep in the background. If you go to place, file, place. I mean, I'm going to use this beautiful image in the background. It's taking a few seconds to do this thing. Yeah, look at it here. So let's place it. I want to place it in between these first uh, four. We place it here. We drag it. We drag it to the end. See, it's coming out. Beautiful. You place it to the back. You go to arrange. Place the image to the back. So you, you place it um bring percent backward. So I'm sorry. So you bring it forward. Bring. Yeah. Sorry. So it's not. It's not here. You bring it in. Sorry, it's taking time here. 
So we go to the layer to make sure we're se selecting the right image. See, see here? So just make sure that this blue color is highlighted and it's showing. So we now go back to our properties and go back to our range and bring it to the front. So it's in front now. So let's send it more back. So, so let's bring the last uh, code to the front. So you go to arrange, you go to transform, sorry, arrange, bring to the front. So that's our code nicely placed. The sales strike in the background as us, so you could now highlight everything and group them together as I could. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and click the like button and leave your comment below. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much.